Hey, and welcome back to The Revolution and a brand new WWE 2K22 video. As earlier today, WWE and 2K dropped the latest edition of Ringside Report. In this week's Ringside Report, the WWE 2K dev team discussed this year's showcase mod, which focuses on the career of Rey Mysterio, as well as touching base on My Rise. To be sure you don't miss out on any of our WWE 2K22 content, hit that bell icon and subscribe to the channel. You can also head over to our official website www.revolution.com where you'll find a breakdown of all of the latest women's wrestling news and more. Before we dive into today's video, last night WWE and 2K unveiled a brand new My Rise and Rey Mysterio showcase trailer to coincide with today's report, so let's take a look. Not every road is paved with gold. And mine was no different. I was always ready to prove that I had the ability to not only become a champion, but to go down in history as one of the greatest superstars of all time. I'm here to be the best I can be. Who do I need to impress? Do you even have to ask? You know I'm picking Sasha. I have to say I quite enjoyed the trailer, especially the heavy focus on the women in the My Rise portion. I'm not going to break the trailer down here, as the majority of the footage is woven into the ringside report, so we'll cover that as we go. As always, WWE 2K creative director Lionel Jinx and senior producer Christina DMFam helm the ringside report series, with this week's report being split between My Rise and the Rey Mysterio showcase. Starting out with the showcase mode, the pair are joined by lead designer on the showcase mode, Dino Machino Zucconi who had one hell of an awesome introduction by fam. With introductions out of the way, we see several gameplay spots from the showcase interwoven with real-life footage, which includes Rey Mysterio vs Eddie Guerrero from Halloween Havoc. Thanks to the footage, we get a great look at the Halloween Havoc versions of both Rey and Eddie, who went on to have classic after classic against each other throughout their career. We then see some more footage of Dolph and Rey going toe-to-toe -to -toe from SummerSlam 2009, which comes with an alternative model for Dolph Ziggler. We then see multiple multiple versions of Rey Mysterio from different periods throughout his career, including a match against Batista from the December 18th, 2009 edition of SmackDown and his match against The Undertaker from the 2010 Royal Rumble. For beginners and newbies to the series, Dino explains that Showcase Mod is essentially a mod in which 2K pay homage to legends with the ability to step into the shoes of some of the greatest WWE superstars. The mod has an objective-guided gameplay system with objectives guiding players throughout the match with cutscenes woven in and out of gameplay to better tell the narrative. This time, the team tweaked some of the existing showcase mod features, with Rey Mysterio being the one to guide players through the matches and offer strategies and tips along the way. The objectives HUD has now been tweaked with colour matching plates that coincide with specific Rey Mysterio attires. For example, during the Halloween Havoc match, the menus are themed with a purple overlay to tie in with his gear. This year, the team decided to weave in real WWE footage so players can relive the action as it unfolds, which promises flawless transitions between real life and in-game footage. As in previous games, Dino explains there will be various rewards for completing matches, with additional bonuses for completing all goals within a match. For those struggling to complete all of the set goals in a match, they can complete the match and continue race showcase and then return to a specific match down the road and try to unlock any bonuses they may have missed the first time around. As a huge wrestling fan himself, Dino pours out his love for getting the awesome opportunity to work with Rey Mysterio as part of the showcase creation process and explains the thought behind picking Rey as this year's showcase focus. As Dino points out, Rey has one of the most standout wrestling moves list, not to mention amazing attires, so undoubtedly Rey was bound to have a showcase dedicated in his honour sooner rather than later. As part of the mod, Rey provides commentary during matches explaining his thought process and feelings as he relives some of his most iconic matches. As we 
begin to move away from the showcase mode, Sam questions Dino on what his favourite match of the showcase mode is, and whilst it may not be the most iconic match of the list, Dino explains his choice of match is the SummerSlam 2009 match against Dolph due to the fast-paced fun-to-play action. With the focus switching to my rise, the pair are joined by senior narrative designer Andrea Listenberger, senior story designer Chris Schreier, and story designer Quatermore Marquez. Taking a different route this time around, the team delve into their top 10 features of the My Rise mode that players need to know. Starting out at number one, Andrea explains her first pick is the ability to play a solo women's division story for the first time ever. In WWE 2K20, although players could play as a female superstar with red, they would also have to play as the male counterpart Trey, which although a step in the right direction, only made the majority of us want a solo women's career even more. This time around, players can decide on whether they want to play as a male or female superstar for the My Rise career mode with individual and unique stories that separate them from either gender division. This time around, Andrea promises that the stories within My Rise aren't just superficial but are as unique as the characters within those divisions. As part of the discussion, we see several clips of the custom female character in WWE 2K22's My Rise experience with a custom star going toe to toe with a mix of WWE superstars including Sonya Deville, Beth Phoenix, Sasha Banks and Bailey. In one segment, we see Bailey and Sasha Banks up to their usual antics, with the former women's tag team champion sneaking a pair of brass, or should we say, boss knuckles. We then see the custom superstar taking out Sonya Deville backstage in what could be a heel moment. I just have to say, I still can't get over just how great Sonya looks in this year's game. As we head on over to pick number two, Chris explains players will journey through My Rise on Raw, SmackDown and NXT, learning from some of the greatest WWE stars at the WWE Performance Center as you attempt to discover what type of superstar you will be. The choices you make and how well you do in the ring will determine what type of WWE career you will have with the ability to hop from brands throughout your WWE journey. For pick three, Quatermo explains that throughout your My Rise path, you can switch between heel and babyface to spice things up, with the ability to change your stance regardless of what your original status was. As part of the topic, we see the custom female superstar in some sort of feud with Becky Lynch as they pick up backstage before the custom superstar is seen hanging from the Money in the Bank briefcase as part of the fan favourite matchup. We also get a quick look at the male superstar counterpart as he takes on Tommaso Ciampa. For pick four, Andrea explains that players can pick between four character backgrounds including MMA, indie, pro athlete and an actor which all come with their own perks including bonuses. Each of the backgrounds provide unique story content and will influence whatever path you decide to take in your WWE career. Thanks to the footage, we can see Shayna Baszler and Sonya Deville are placed within the MMA background, which offers percent increases for arm and leg power, as well as technical and submission defense. The footage also interestingly names Zaya Lee within the MMA background, which could be a hint at her inclusion in the game or a possible DLC spot later down the line. For the indie background, we can see that indie stars gain bonuses to aerial offense grapple reversals and finishes. Among the examples used for indie superstars are Shotzi, Candice LeRae and Mia Yim. For the pro athlete background, players will gain bonuses for agility, body durability and grapple offence with Roman Reigns, King Corbin and Goldberg used as the examples. With Orenda used in the previous backgrounds, I would hazard a guess and say Bianca Belair is also classed as a pro athlete due to her sports background. Whilst we don't get any stats for the actor background, it looks as though Maurice is classed in this section alongside husband The Miz. Moving on to number five, Chris explains that My Rise will have over 1,000 playable matches with a brief look at the custom superstar training with Beth Phoenix in the Performance Center. The number six, Marquez explains that players can experience nine unique My Rise arenas, which players can unlock for exhibition modes including the Japan Hall and the Mexico Plaza. As part of the footage, we see the custom female superstar taking on Asuka inside the Japan Hall before duking it out with Natalya in Mexico. Next up at number seven, Andrea explains My Rise has voiceover contributions from over 30 superstars including Shawn Michaels, Beth Phoenix, Sasha Banks and more. The segment also provides another look at Beth Phoenix and Sasha Banks, with Andrea beaming that Sonya Deville was especially fun to work with during the voiceover process. At number 8, Chris touches base on the branching options and rivalries of My Rise, with each decision creating a unique WWE experience. Whilst Chris gives a lowdown on the options, we see the custom character battling it out alongside Natalia, Shayna Baszler, 
Bailey and Sonia Deville before the custom male superstar enters a feud with John Cena. For pick 9, Marquez reveals that MyRise has 3,000 unique commentary lines from Michael Cole, Corey Graves and Byron Saxon to truly give a unique live experience style. In the final pick for the video, Andrea reveals that between the male and female MyRise gameplay experience, there will be over 50 hours of gameplay for fans to delve into. Before the team depart, Andrea explains that the guiding principle for MyRise is choice. This time around, players can decide where they start out, whether they want to play the good or the bad guy, and the order in which they want to play out specific storylines. In a recurring theme for the WWE 2K22 Ringside Report series, Christina DM Fam questions the team on what they are most looking forward to when WWE 2K22 hits shelves next week. Quitemo explains she is most looking forward to the showcase mod as a big Rey Mysterio and Latino fan and she can't wait to see him doing what he does best. Chris reveals he is most looking forward to getting his hands on my gem after being a fan of the original mod way back in the day. Lastly, and by no means least, Andrea reveals she is most looking forward to kicking some ass with friends online and even jokes about bullying her friends into buying the game so she can do so. That wraps up today's WWE 2K22 ringside report breakdown and I have to say as always, I really do love the dynamic between the team. It may sound repetitive, but it's so fun to see the guys joking around and having some fun when dropping new information and it makes so such a difference to previous info drops in recent years. Even though the 2K20 career mod had its highs and lows, I can honestly say I had a pretty cool time when playing it, so I can't wait to get my hands on WWE 2K22 and start my My Rise career. Having the ability to switch between heel and face whenever I like means I'll probably return to the mod multiple times, which I'm sure I'll document here on the channel. Whilst I don't usually touch base too much on the male superstars, Rey Mysterio undoubtedly is one of the most entertaining male superstars to ever step foot in a ring, so I'm quite excited to relive some of his most historic WWE moments and pop out those awesome Lucha Libre inspired moves. But that's enough of what I think. I want to know what you at home make of today's ringside report and which mode you're most looking forward to playing. To be sure you don't miss out on any of our WWE 2K22 content, hit that bell icon and subscribe to the channel. You can also head on over to our official website www.revolution.com where you'll find a breakdown of all of today's news and so much more. Until next time, I've been The Revolution and I'm off to start the journey of my WWE 2K22 career.